There are many different ring sizes which you can use for your project. In this particular example, I'm using a 3 8 inch ring of 14 gauge. It is slightly smaller than a Canadian dime. As you can see in the first example. The second example is um, a, a constructed unit. It's a 4 in 1 uh, European style. You can actually see four rings interconnected with the one. That is not actually how it rests on the body though. The third example actually shows uh, head to toe, actually how it should hang on your body. The dimensions of your project will vary greatly depending on the ring size and the dimensions of the intended wear. For the purposes of my measurements for this project, I've set aside two units. Again, one unit has five rings in the four and one European style. So in this case, two units is 10 rings. There are many examples online of how to construct a chainmail shirt. This particular tutorial focuses on the 45 degree sleeved variant. In essence, you can see uh, that there are multiple shapes in this uh, basic pattern. This is the mantle, in essence, uh, four pieces. Uh, you can break it down further, a lot of people do. I found it easier just to focus on uh, these particular four because with this tutorial, I'd like to illustrate what most people seemingly have an issue with, and that's the armpit, um, something that is not very clear online and very difficult to actually find examples how to properly construct uh, a chainmail shirt with a sleeve with a relatively acceptable armpit. Starting from the left side, we have example uh, exhibit A, which is actually uh, the right sleeve. This portion here, exhibit B, is actually the back end, the other sleeve, and the front end. Most examples of this, of this variety will suggest that the, these, pace, these pieces should all be the same. That is not so. The reality is, is that your back is much broader than your chest and therefore the back piece, the second one, should actually be larger than the front piece. So for the measurements that I used, on exhibit A, the sleeve to the right, it actually measures 20 units long for a short sleeve, 8, which you will join on a loop. This tapers off to four units by the neckline. On the back side, I've got 28 units wide. Please note the differentiation between that and the front, which is 24. That is one thing I may yet work on on my shirt. The height at this time is 10 units. Once again, please note the differentiation between the back side and the front side, where I've tapered off to accommodate a neckline for nine units and eight respectively. This is the mantle portion of my chainmail shirt to date. The reason why I've not shown the pieces uh, independently of one another is for the reason of time. I've left one side uh, bare yet to sew up. The other side is actually a completed uh, seam. The purpose of this is sh to show you in brief what you should actually look for beforehand and what it should look like once you've actually finished the seam. Before doing so, I'd like to illustrate that the rings move, they flow in the same direction from one piece to the next. When you actually do this, the joining of a piece is actually rather simple. It is still a four and one. So the seam is actually very easy to do between each of the four pieces. What becomes complicated is the armpit portion. This portion here is the sleeve that I'll wrap around and join to the other side. Once again, currently that sleeve is a 20U piece. On this portion here, I've not included a lot for the under the armpit on the, on the core of the body. But what I'm going to illustrate here is the dimensions, the, the number of rings that we're talking about that have to be uh, built aside. I've actually see, you actually see two units on 
the trunk, and eight units on the arm. The arms will roll over and connect on either side, making a cylinder. In the opposite direction, same thing with the body. The critical portion that you want to keep in mind is that the joint is on the eighth and the fourth ring. So that's the end of the fourth unit and the end of the second unit. At a glance, it's difficult to see. There is a hole in the armpit, but it is small. I'm not sure if the clarity of the camera will allow you to see this, but it's a basically an eight ring hole. Just enough for me to put my finger through. The seam on the body is seamless as it rings around. I basically have three adjoining rings on two units. That's where it ends. You can see just enough my finger. And same thing on the arm side. It's a little bit more difficult for me to show. But again, the seam uh, cylindrically is seamless. Once joined, you just have this small hole. It's actually the perfect size hole. And for the most part, it's really easy to do once you understand the project. Once you understand the project, you can do something that most people can't do. You can create a proper sleeve for your chainmail shirt.